Okay, it's that time of the week when we talk about the best five print-on-demand niches of the week for Merch by Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, etc. So I'm going to show you the best five performing niches and also dive deeper so that we can get some hidden niches that you can really target and make some decent money with on print-on-demand, whether you're on Merch by Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble or any other print-on-demand platform. Let me share with you my screen and let's get going. I'm going to leave you guys links to all the services and print-on-demand resources that you need in the description whether you need a merch by amazon account my full merch by amazon course the profitable niches service one-to-one -one coaching the free ultimate guide to print on demand success 10k dollars a month formula pdf or any of the print on demand tools and resources either for free or with heavy discounts you'll find all the links down below in the description so here in merch dominator go to best sellers and i scan for what is really going on right now what are the best niches that are ranking well and that have high demand and immediately what stands out to me is the father's day niche obviously father's day is around the corner we still have about a month and a week of work and already this design right here is number one if you don't know yet this is targeted towards men and it always performs really really well around father's day and christmas and if i'm honest throughout the whole year so this design is literally iconic and it became a evergreen design that sells all year round so your goal is to make design that perform like this anyway i typed father's day here in bestsellers as you guys can see lots and lots of opportunities lots of ideas you've got the fishing niche retirement niche patriotic niche veterans niche literally mixing and matching now i go here in product search and i type father's day look at the amount of opportunities guys and the kind of sub niches that you can get into literally limitless stuff and guys one important thing you need to take into consideration is that when you type father's day in the search box it's a massive niche obviously you're going to get a number like this 50,000 results right but what you need to do is you need to do what we call sub niching or cross niching sub niching is when you dig deeper into that niche you don't stay in the surface and cross niching is when you mix one niche with another or the main niche with another two niches that are complementary or related to each other or even mixing that niche with a design concept that is doing really well at that moment in time so going down obviously we're not going to do anything to do with star wars or dr seuss etc scrolling down we can see this niche right here this niche did so well last year and it looks like it's going to do well this year as well because it is one of the best selling designs right now this niche is doing well as well so anything to do with vintage literally text-based designs do so well on father's day this one right here awesome like my daughter is also a great niche idea what you can do with this is you can sub niche further instead of doing daughter you can do awesome like my daughter-in-law you can do awesome like my my son or some like my son-in-law i don't know try and target different audiences this is another idea you can do it's me hi i'm the dad it's me i wouldn't suggest you do this one because it plays on taylor swift but just by coming here on merch dominator you have so many ideas man you've got the fourth of july niche as well the patriotic niche you've got the cat niche as well mixed with dad husband daddy protects a hero you can do husband papa for example you can do husband grandpa different ways of saying dad and grandpa etc loads of ideas here just try and change things a little bit cross niche sub niche try and find the gap where to get in and you're done man you're done literally endless design ideas for father's day right there and it keeps going on and on and on now the next idea that came up is field day now i'm not saying you should do field day because it's a name of a music festival but a lot of people are doing it so it's up to you if you want to take the risk or not i'm just merely showing you what is really crushing it right now and looking at field day guys guys look at that it's absolutely crushing it so many design ideas to take inspiration from mix and match again that is the name of the game again checking it right here in product search look at that guys different ways of targeting that same niche you've got field day shirts for teachers for kids for school for preschool adults this gives you so many ideas and this is how you see those ideas transform into reality and again don't let this number fool you the 3000 results don't let it fool you because that is for the main niche right as you start sub niching you'll find that the competition gets lower and lower and lower and that's how best sellers make their money if you notice the same design ideas get repeated across multiple niches and that is the trick guys that is literally the secret as you guys can see it is absolutely crushing it we notice that the smiley face with field day does really well and if you're clever you see that this type of design is doing well in this niche right here you can import it to another 
niche where this design concept does not exist, etc. etc. Decent idea. Again, you can import this to the last day of school niche, schools out for summer niche, etc. etc. The sky is the limit. The limit is your imagination, guys. Next, we have the patriotic niche. Now, when I say the patriotic niche, it's absolutely massive. It includes the USA niche, 4th of July, elections, many, many things. So looking at this, you've got Trump, you've got veterans, you've got the USA niche, different USA presidents. Now, all you have to do is plug in these keywords and niche down. That is the name of the game. You can see how people are niching down, right? Patriotic shirts for men, for girls, for dogs, for women, for kids. And if we research the Trump niche by itself, look at that BSR guys, absolutely crazy. And all of these are different design ideas that you can actually sub niche to even further. So for example, you see that this niche is doing well. You can plug in this title by itself in product search and then check how many designs are associated with this niche and then evaluate it like that, whether it's a good idea to get into that niche or not. I keep talking about this all the time, guys. All you have to do is apply. Merch Dominator shows you everything. There's nothing that gets shown on Amazon that Merch Dominator does not scan, especially if it's sold. Merch Dominator doesn't really care about designs that didn't sell. It only identifies the designs that have sold and that are performing well so that you don't miss a beat. Next, you've got the patriotic niche, right? Again, many, many design ideas. Fourth of July is already doing well, even now. Different sports mixed with the USA flag, etc., etc. Next, you've got elections. So you've got Lebowski, you've got Trump, Biden. Look at this one right here. Many, many design ideas, guys. The great thing about politics is you can be pro Biden or against Biden, pro Trump or against Trump, and you'll still make money from it. So who cares, huh? This is really funny. 17K in BSR. And it keeps going on and on and on. Again, the limit is your imagination, guys. Now, the next one is Juneteenth, and it does really, really well. Again, you still have about a month and a week and check this out. This niche you can do so well on just with AI. This you can create with AI. You can create this with AI as well. And I did it with Kittle the other day. Uh, I don't know if you saw that video. Very, very easy. Literally less than five minutes. But essentially what you have to do is notice what is selling well. And immediately we can see that women designs are selling well in the Juneteenth niche, right? So make designs for women, make designs for girls. So youth fit type, just type Juneteenth here and check what people are searching for. The first keyword that people are searching for is Juneteenth shirts women. Make sure you have this one in your title. Juneteenth shirts for men. Miss Juneteenth, right? This could be a quote in your design. Juneteenth for kids. Juneteenth for boys. And again, don't let this number fool you. You can sub niche even further and I've just explained to you how you can do that. There are many, many ways how you can do that and I keep explaining them in many videos, guys. So you have to go back to those videos to understand how we do cross niche and how we do sub niche in etc. Because one video is not going to be enough. There you go, guys. Check this out. Amazing BSR. So what you notice here is there are many designs that are Juneteenth oriented and they have the African colors, right? But not many are done with pink. Look at that. If you recreate these designs in pink, then maybe you can do well. See that? It really stands out. Basically, you want to do something that is a showstopper. When people are scrolling through their phone, they see the same thing repeating. And then you show them a different design that actually stands out from the rest. And there's a likelihood that they will click on that design. If they like it, they might purchase your design. But guys, when the extension comes out, you literally will be able to do all of this research so easily on the Amazon website with so many filtering functionalities and options and saving filters and all that kind of stuff. Research will literally be a breeze. It's no longer going to be something that you dread or waste your time or bothers you. It's going to be something you're going to be looking forward to. So if you guys are not subscribed, to Merch Dominator. Yeah, enter this coupon code right here, 50 off, which is not going to be there forever, especially when the extension comes out. Put it right here, click on apply, and the price will change from $49 per month to $24.50 per month. And the best discount is when you switch to the annual option, you get two months free. So you pay for 10 months, but you get 12 months. And instead of paying $588, you end up paying $245 for the entire year, which works out about $20 per month when you divide that by 12. I'm going to leave you guys links to all the services and print on demand resources that you need in the description. Whether you need a Merch by Amazon account, my full Merch by Amazon course, the profitable niches service, one-to-one -one coaching, the free ultimate guide to print on demand success, $10k a month formula, PDF, or any of the print on demand tools and resources, either for free or with heavy discounts. You'll find all the links down below in the description. I hope you got some value out of this video. Watch this video next if you want to learn how to start
start your print on demand business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.